<laughs> okay, we're live on foods, because it's a big topic for me, food. Um, so I had a, a food addiction. Uh, I think, you know, normal people enjoy their food, and there's nothing wrong with enjoying your food. Um, you know, the, the question then would be, who is enjoying what? Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's okay for normal people to enjoy whatever they want to enjoy. Enjoy TV, enjoy your, your donuts, <coughs> uh, you know, enjoy your biscuits, uh, whatever it is. Mm. The le you know, as you, as you reach higher levels of consciousness, uh, joy is an intrinsic state to your level of consciousness. It's like one, one becomes the sky of joy rather than something that's feeling like it needs a boost from something. Um, now, <coughs> not, not against enjoying things, but the higher you go in, in, the more you transcend the idea that a object gives enjoyment, the more you transcend that idea, the more your, your state becomes joy, i.e. each moment is joyful. To the extent that uh, Let's take donuts. It could be donuts, it could be alcohol, it could be drugs, it could be TV, uh, you know, EastEnders, whatever it is. So they then become dualistic things, uh, which Ramana sort of said, uh, and there's nothing wrong with them, I don't say there's anything wrong, but they become things which become magical or special. You know, they're imprinted as special. So it's like, well, you know, oh, extra joy right now because there's bananas. You know, there's going to be extra joy. Or uh, there might be, you know, so these things become mildly, you know, it's mildly enjoyable. It's not a big deal if there's no bananas here right now. So, but when you get to these higher levels of flow, these higher states of consciousness, you realize you're in these constant flow, very high vibration states. And then it becomes like you're actually timeless joy non stop throughout the day. You actually realize it, you know, it's not like you wouldn't say, like, oh, I became really, really happy when I had that peanut at 10 o'clock, or those, those dates were the thing that really made the day, because that's not, that's not what it, you realize that cannot be the thing that, you know, the, you know, what really, you know, I'm really enjoying these dates now, it's the dates that are giving me joy. When you, of course, addiction is something extreme, then it's like your whole life becomes about looking forward to donuts, and if you can't get the donuts, stealing donuts from people, or hoarding donuts, you become really sort of like, and, and, and you become afraid if, you know, if there's a donut shortage. So it becomes, it becomes like that. So that becomes extreme. You know, you're, like, you're miserable if you can't have the donuts, you know, as opposed to, when you're getting to the higher things, you're more in a position of neutrality. You know, if you're gonna have like lettuce leaves or whether you have cake or lettuce leaves, no, there's no difference, you see. So those are the high levels. So, um, you know, I, I particularly uh, seek enlightenment myself, but there's nothing wrong, you know, normal people enjoy their food, and that's also good as well. Addicts are like addicted to food. You know, if you give them one biscuit, they'll want a hundred biscuits, and even after a hundred biscuits, that won't be enough. So, yeah, it's good to enjoy food. I mean, I did the thing, you know, because I speak to a lot of people with food addiction, and uh, is making the foods meaningless and sitting through the cravings for the food until eventually they empty out this tank of like, I get enjoyment from this until they get to this position of neutrality around it. Then the, 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 it becomes a thing that doesn't become an event, you know. Oh, I'm really a bit more happy now with there's donuts or I'm going to look forward to going to this place next week because they'll have free donuts. So that's erased from the consciousness, you see, and so you can go to these higher, higher vibration fields. So, and I, you know, when I sort of say these things, I don't mean anything is right or wrong. I think addicts, there's nothing wrong with being a donut addict. I think there's nothing wrong with enjoying donuts as a normal person. There's nothing wrong with being a enlightened teacher, where one is in, intrinsic state is joy. So I just wanted to say that about 